probably need a toilet right away when we start, but we'll give it a go. Tucker. Right, morning everybody. So I was making a short video for one of my clients who owns this dog here today. So I thought I'd do a little commentary over the top of it to show you where I'm at. So this is a young bitch, she's about five, uh, five and a half months, I believe, something like that. Um, and when she's come to me, um, she's not uh, been able to really do anything apart from sort of uh, walk on the lead a little bit. So my main objective is to get this dog hunting, turning, and implementing a small amount of sit. Now, when I first start coming in the rat pen, my main objective is to teach that dog to be able to find game and figure out how to flush it. Now, if you start putting your brakes on your young dogs too soon, um, you can destroy all the drive that your dog has. Now, this dog has got quite a bit of pace about it. Yes, she's only five and a half, five and a half months old, and there's a hell of a lot more to come out of her, but you know small segments of uh time i've seen what i want to see and there was a rabbit there just encouraging and look at that tail action that's what i want there so my objective is to get this dog hunting turning quartering and sitting in the end um that probably is going to take some time because as i said my main objective is, is for that dog to learn how to find game well uh, creating uh, enough control to never allow it to uh, go out of control, so to speak. So uh, she has had a couple of chases under control, which is something that will allow her to realize that there is uh, something fun in here to find and also allow her to join up the dots to be able to make sense of the information coming up through her nose um, to therefore be able to find a rabbit. Now, I'm now at the stage where if she does find a rabbit, I just do enough just to dis discourage her from chasing it but I'm not putting the brakes on by any means at all. Uh, there's a lot more pace to come out of this dog. And as that pace comes, I can start to put in more and more control. So I've got a pip for a turn. Um, I've got to stop like that, but it will be uh, in no more um, uh, of a pressured situation than that at the moment. So I'm just walking her to heel here. I'm gonna sit her back up again. Uh, and then I'm gonna cast her off again. You'll see she's got a training line on there. That always allows me to get hold of her if I need to. Um, it doesn't get caught up on anything. Um, but as I said, my main thing is for her to have fun. I'm not worrying about a pattern or anything at this stage. So I think we're about to find a rabbit here. Um, there was a hen bird in the corner as well. Look, there's a rabbit, it's gone away. So just enough encouragement to stop her chasing it, but by no means making her sit or putting the brakes on. Um, as I said, over the next two or three months, I'm sure she will gather more and more pace. As she does so, I can start to create a pattern and then create more control. But you're still a little bit of hesitance uh, here, as you just saw there. But as I said, until the dog is flowing with as much as pace as I feel that dog uh, is capable of, I will not be looking at stopping the dog on a flush. I just don't want it to develop into anything other than that. I'm doing a few little recalls in as well because that's something she wasn't very good at doing. I wanted to come in. You can see her tail's wagging there, front feet on my chest, and then I give her some praise. I ask her to sit when I stand up and then I cast her back off again. Look, that lovely bit of energy there, letting her run on a little bit. As I said, I'm not worried about a pattern at this stage. As long as she pips and comes to my hands um, and she turns off the rabbit when I ask her, I'm not really doing much more than that at this stage. I want her to develop a nose to find game, have fun, enjoy herself, but always on that sort of seesaw of uh, letting her have her head, but not so much that I lose yeah. control yeah. at any point. That's my main objective at this stage. And it can take a little while, you know, um, it's not gonna happen in five minutes. Now, obviously what I'm doing here is very different from what I might have to do with an older dog that has experience. But certainly for a young dog like this, this is the way I prefer to go. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this. I think she has. Hopefully catch you soon, guys. Cheers.